Kobe. <laughs> and I'm Matt. We're here to race the little brown jug 2023. Came from Knoxville, Tennessee. Three and a half hours. All right, now I'm talking. You're awake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Matt Brooks. We're from Knoxville, Tennessee. Drove down for the little brown jug Enduro 2023. I wasn't here last year, but Kobe broke his wrist, so this is his redemption tour. Uh, getting to hang out with the dim lit studios people really kind letting us stay with them really excited for this race love traveling around and getting to see all these new places and riding all these new trails having a really good time so how was the recovery from last year and now going for your redemption well after wrecking last year i knew that i had to come back and I was in test three whenever I did break my wrist. And so I got to see about half of it. Um, it didn't take too long for recovery, just a few months really. Kind of eased into it. Had a lot of pain at first and it, it, it went away pretty quickly, thankfully. Um, been riding pretty much all year, just getting ready, mainly for this race. This is the one that I've told dozens of people about this race, just wanting to come back. So we're looking forward to it. Well, on behalf of your extreme performance last year and coming to Rolling Hills Farm and uh, deciding to break your wrist because of trees, yeah. we are giving you an honorary just like you got the little broke little brown jug. You get your own tree sign specifically and maybe it will deter others from following in your footsteps. Yeah, we don't want anybody hitting that tree. No, no. Enjoy. Well, uh, it looked like you were coming through here carrying a whole bunch of speed and forgot <laughs> to turn left. Yeah, no, I didn't turn left. There's a nice little turn. No, I remember the bike launching through the air and I was attached to it. Bouncing off the tree and spinning through the air and landing about 20 feet over there. <laughs> I've heard this story probably a hundred times so it's good to finally get to see the tree in person yeah i'm still not <laughs> i'm still not so happy to see it <laughs> perfect <laughs> you can't miss it <laughs> oh yeah yes that's it that's the one Fired up. Got some redemption from last year. Just gotta make it through. Stay off them trees. Stay off them trees. That's the 2023 Little Brown Jug Enduro. Um, starting off this morning, it was 65 degrees, real cool. It was real easy to ride, and as the day progressed, it got hotter and hotter. It made things a little tougher. I felt really good all throughout the entire day. Until about um, middle of test four, into test five, I could definitely tell that I was needing food and needing more water. I had ran out of water, but we, uh, we powered through the day, and just glad that we finished this year. Uh, the biggest thing coming back from last year was a broken wrist, so you know, and I, I can't thank Dimlin Studios enough for having us stay in hospitality and feeding us and putting up with us and everything. A bunch of, bunch of rednecks from East Tennessee. So, you know, like I said, I can't thank everybody enough. It was a good time and we're definitely going to be back next year. We're out here at 2023 LBJ closing up. It was a really fun course. My first time racing it. <clears throat> I got 12th in open B, which isn't exactly where I wanted to be, but I wore the wrong gloves and have some crazy blisters on my hands. So I'll take the finish. It's a great course, fun time. 
definitely we cannot wait to come back next year, uh, hang out with the Dimlit Studios people, and stay at Rolling Hills Farms <clears throat> and take a nice cold shower after the race. That has been the best part about all of this. The hospitality is unreal. So like, he's become our poster child <laughs> yeah. to help Kobe stay off trees and we're gonna find some sort of liquid skin for his fingers for next year. But you know, overall, good job, dude. Thank you. Don't let the